Hey guys, Botchin25 here, playing FSX once again. Today, we will be flying, oh boy, that's really loud, an American Airlines A321 from New York's LaGuardia Airport to Charlotte. Yes, it's KLGA. KCLT. KCLT01. If I can find a KC L zero one load. Flight number is uh, oh we American. we still have it set for United Airlines but uh, that we can change. Oh no we didn't. What's American Airlines? A A A A L A A L. What was it? Eighteen something wasn't it? Eighteen thirty four. Thirty four. I don't know. It doesn't matter, does it? No. It's not like the FAA are going to be tracking us. <laughs> <laughs> this is an American aircraft. Cruise flight 350. And the, co the normal cost index for an A321 is 23. Okay, then. Red next. Load fuel. Press right. Load fuel. Let's see if the load sheet works this time. A return. Oh, yeah. Turn load fuel. I don't know why is that. Yeah, I don't know why. Right, happening. so what does it say? 186, yeah? yeah 186. 4.5. Just do 4.6 because it's worth it as well. And fuel was like. What? 9,000. Yeah, sure. 9.0. Alright, yeah, 9.0. You have to clear, clear on clear. And clear it. Oh, come on. 9.0. Don't worry, the FS Labs is, is better. A lot better. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, yeah, Load instant. instant. So block fuel is going to be 9.0. Just 9.0, yeah. Look, 9.0. Right. What's next? Flight plan, isn't it? Flight plan. And check for a f well no, actually set departure. Yeah. Actually we want to be taking off on this runway, don't we? Just so we reduce taxi time. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's three something. Three, three one. one. So we'll be taking off like that. We'll be taking off on the biggie something departure. I and think. then flying kind of along the coast. But yeah, it is the biggie, so but then again, we can change that, can't we? Departure, runway 3-1. 3-1. Yeah, it's like where they forward departure. That's why I like the American airports. It's just clear airports. The, there was a discontinuity up there. Anyway. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can't clear that. You have to clear the manual first. Really? Yep. Do I have to? No, well you can fly the manual part if you want. No. Insert. Go 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 That's an upper way point. Great. And click on KCLT. Runway whatever. Arrival. Well, we're going to be flying down, so 1-8 one is going to be perfect. What's the last waypoint? I don't know. Go to some brief if you have to have it open. I think I do. So give, give us a moment. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. Yep, there it is. Yeah. Now you can write no transition. No yeah. trans. Click on it. That doesn't matter. Yep, so okay. what? Next! Check well, first of all, I'm just going to start. What? Check for discontinuities. Again? Yeah. We're going to be at the bottom. Why does the Airbus not clear this itself? Airbus dumb. Really? For one of the smartest aircraft in the world. <laughs> right. And, and Next is the perf, isn't it? Yes. Well, if I'm just going to sa start the checklist. Yep. Cockpit preparation checklist. Cockpit preparation checklist. Perf. 
Engine master. So one, both off. Engine mode selector. Say, say one Check oh wait, normal. wait. Remember, Hard you don't break. have to straight away. Off. Trust levers. I'm setting the trim. Idle. So up one recall. point. So we're going to go for two up one point zero. Two slash up one. Checked. Anti skid. One point. On. Emergency lights. Checked and armed. No smoking signs. On. Okay, wait. Air condition. Yeah, the flex temperature did not set. Ventilation which I panel. Set myself then. Is checked. What Fuel now? pumps. Set Come on. on. <laughs> Checked. Checklist complete. Oh, V1's only 118. And VR is 135. Oh. We can do it. Yeah, okay, I'm just getting them. We're ready to go, Igor. Yes, yes, so give me the Give me the thing. Actually, yeah, I'm going to take no, off second instead. Look. Left. Up. Set the barometric pressure to uh, uh, inches in mercury. What? That's what the MQs. Yeah. Right, uh, Inches terrain off. of Mercury. Mercury. You don't have to set it always. I just do this because I wish I'd, I wish to do so. You know, Wallops is actually kind of there. You know, that's where that's where the uh, Antares yeah, lives. Push back. Push back. Push no, back. not yet, Igor. I have to close the doors. Whatever. It's, the only, it's only the doors. Not like you're gonna get sucked out of plane in flight. Don't joke about that. A Korean charter <laughs> airline, or not charter, a low cost thing. Yeah, Korean, didn't it? <laughs> not North. Yeah, but still. It was actually affiliated with Korean Airlines, so. They've got A380s, Korean Airlines. Mm. This low cost carrier. I'm actually waiting to hear that sound of the APU behind up. You didn't even turn the APU on. <laughs> really, Igor? That's what the checklist is for. I'm just going to do this. I'm turning the camera on just in case. And the terrorist show. Well, that would actually, if you think about it, make sense. Oh. I mean, we're flying a decently sized aircraft out of LaGuardia, which is quite close to central New York. <laughs> you pick it up and I'm laying down. Yeah. And the people that are on board, you don't know who they are. Because it is a full aircraft, so that would give know. a pretty good reason to take over. Burp. Burp. Right, just a test. Light slope. Set on. External power. Terrain ahead. Light slope. Disconnected up. and Pull. off. Seven signs. Terrain ahead. Pull. Up. Set on. Trust levers. Idle. Yeah. Parking brake. Set on. Bearer reference. When I get the money, I'm probably going to buy the FS lab. Three, zero, one, eight. Three, zero, one, eight. Check. Beacon lights. Set on. Checklist complete. Alright, we won't push back. So we'll turn left to 90 degrees. Or right 90 degrees. It's left, actually. No, that, that direction is right. When it says left, it says no is left, tail right. Really? Yeah. For some reason. Give me a moment here. Direction, right? This is what I always do. Right 90. Alright, yeah, let's start the clock. The little one there. Well, let's click start here. Yeah. And how do you set how do I set Slide it deck up? to ground? Load just up there. Go ahead, sir. Yep. Ground, we have ATC clearance for push and start. Really? Please Got confirm it? ground yeah. equipment and services are counting? clear. Yeah, I know, because it's in minutes. Oh right. Roger. Ground equipment and stairs are clear, all doors are closed. Steering pin is in position and we're ready when you are, Captain. Start pushback. Start pushback. I'm closing. Register, please release the parking brakes. Register, please release the parking brakes. Parking brakes released. <laughs> they already released. <laughs> I remember I said that. Starting pushback, you can start both engines at your discretion, Captain. Okay. Starting. The British one says is okay. <laughs> right in the front of the new car. Watch. I've done this before, that's how I know. If you have GSX, the steepest turner. Turner. <laughs> the steepest turner! You mean the turn is sharper? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the steepest. <laughs> oh my god. Well done, Igor. The turn is steeper. Like, that, even that doesn't make sense. Uh, Maybe a fence there, at least. 
Oh, the fence is a bit tight. Just make a building in front of an airport. I'm not even. That's not what I'm concerned about. Something says you know just a building at the end of the runway. Yes. Engine two is stabilized. Yes. Starting number one. Number one. Take off. Just uh, I I can show you that I can do it. I know you can do it. I know you know. What's why is that suddenly orange? Physics and colors. Alright, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> he has no eyes. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Okay. <laughs> How is he qualified to fly? <laughs> <laughs> he has no <laughs> bloody <laughs> eyes. Why do we use turn? I guess yeah, see it turned orange. What's next? Hello? Hello? It's me. Engine one is stabilized. And oh, push back is complete, Captain. Parking brakes are set. Okay then, Captain. Tow bar disconnected. You know, steering pin is removed. Uh, all clear. Signal on the right. Uh, have a good run, sir. What is he saying there? Have a good. Have a good flight. Really? I, I, he, I, does, he does not sound like he's saying flight. It's like have a good run or have a good one. After start checklist. It does though. Engine mode selector. Set. APU bleed. Set off. APU master. Set. Set off. off. Ground spoilers. Mm. Set. Um. Set. Trim. <laughs> Checked zero. <coughs> Pitch trim. Checked. Flight Set. controls. Full left. <laughs> Full left. Full right. Full right. Full Neutral. up. <laughs> Full down. Neutral. Full Rudder. left. Full right. <laughs> Neutral. Checked. Flaps. One, flaps two. Anti ice. Mm -hmm. Off. Ecom status. Yep, probably. Checked. Ecom door page. Why is that even necessary? Checked. Hand signal. Check all the doors Received. Are checklist complete. Properly. Taxi. Taxi and checklist. I'll take off then. No, you gotta take off. I want to take off. Wait, what's a cool thing? I'll say 35, so let's set that in the, uh, in, in the AP screen. AC. Or MCP. Taxiing checklist. I'm calling it AP for autopilot. No auto flight. Autopilot. Set yes. on. Brake check. Brake check. Pedal. That looks good. Okay. Taxiing here. Getting ready to turn on to the runway. Just speeding through this. I should probably begin the time. But take off checklist, shouldn't I? Yep, start take off checklist. Flight attendants, seats for takeoff. Before take off checklist. Yes. Break yep. temperature. Checked. I think Break we can take ten. off from here, yeah? Approaching. Three, yeah. one. On Mantoga. Can I please take off? No, we can't. You must get in. No, what? I will not be able to land. Because I have to go in like 15 minutes now. On runway. Three, one. I can't be bothered sending it up on my laptop. Sliding <laughs> tables. Stowed. Damn, that's Stowed. Green. Checklist complete. Liz. Take off. Man, Toga, SRS, and runway. Check. I'm turning the brakes on. Power set. Differential brakes on. What are you doing? Because I'm not. Oh, it's right. Oh, crap. I told you not to do that. No, you didn't. Here we'll check on. Uh, on the website if P3, Eager, P3D is. Not now! Not so now! But that is terrible. Beat one. Rotate. <sighs> nice tail shot. No, it didn't. Gear up. Last one. Navigation. On. Check. Your nod is not as great as you may think it is. Oh yeah, fun fact! This here, in real life, is a prison island. 
Really? Alcaraz? That's in San Francisco. Gears up, lights off. Okay. I'm gonna pause this video here. Flaps one. And I'll see you guys once we begin our descent into Charlotte. Without me. Yes, without Igor. So yeah, see you then. Okay, guys, we are about to begin our descent. So let's descent start preparation the preparation checklist. Descent preparation checklist. Seatbelt yeah. signs. On. Give me a second. Eyes. Off. Landing information. Received. Altimeter. Standard. Error radio. Set. Checklist complete. Right, I'll initiate this. I'm initiating the descent. To 2,000 feet. I'm also going to find. Need to find out the. Uh, actually, the thing I'm like, not sure. I have to pause this. So I'm not sure of the temp and Q and H and all that. Yeah. Well, that's the descent to 2,000. And VS. Initiating descent. FMA check. Radar tilt. Set below. Negative fifteen hundred. Negative two thousand. Let the speed up to the scent. Okay. I think we might need to do some of the for negative two thousand two hundred maybe. Yeah, that descent is good. Now, on to perf. Activate approach phase. Confirm. Right, uh... I don't know why Igor told me to do that, so... I need to... I need to find the Q&H. Okay, Google. Temperature, Charlotte Airport. Yeah, I want to know the temperature. What says the temperature at the moment? Thirty-four degrees. Okay, Google. Q N H Charlotte Airport. Wait, what? Temperature is actually 23.9. So 23.9. No, no, 23. 24, actually. Not clear. 24. And the QH, let's say QH. Let me give maybe provide that. I can't find the Q&H. Uh, why'd it go back to that? No, like this. Uh, description, that's climatology. What's the Q&H? Come on. HPA, that's all it says, so. I'm going to set it to 290, I guess. 269, no, 2690. Out of range, 29, no, clear, 2990. What? what? 299? Out of range, what does that mean? What do you mean, out of range? Three, not clear. Three thousand, I guess. Three 
Anyway, while we're leaving that then. What else is there? Oh yeah, trans out. Okay, Google. Trans altitude United States. I need to find out what the transition altitude is here. Go to north. What? Transition altitude. Eighteen thousand. What? Well then, set it that to eighteen thousand, I guess. Not clear. Eighteen thousand. What Q and H turns out? Yep. That is what the actual transition altitude is, according to Google. So we're at twenty-five thousand feet with this American Airlines A three twenty one. With the, uh, I believe it's the IAE engines. It's a bit cloudy here, though. Wait, actually, yeah, the weather would still be the same because it still updates. Hmm. It is interesting to see, you know, no actually no f planned future flight plan yet. You know, the past flight plan has shown. How long, much longer does it... Actually, the thing is, I'm not sure I'm going to flight plan. Distance 1, 2, 3, it's 18, 21. That's... Would be useful. This is 1753, so it's another half hour approximately. Wait a second, nope. Speed. Well, not ma. 290. I'm going to close your ta tray table because I don't want that open. I think it's a little down to eight of the cent of it. Still down to negative two thousand. They're descending very slowly. We're only going to level off at two thousand before putting her down. This is actually a pretty well made livery, I will say that. As this has the wingless, not the shacklets, which are you know just the ones that kind of fold up. Actually, quite often when these things are flying, if there's an A321 with a sharklet, quite often from the ground you can't tell if it's a 757 with a winglet or an A321 with a sharklet. I, well, that's what I've heard anyway. I'm not actually sure. I'm going to zoom in a bit. I think we're going to go direct to Hagul. Direct. Because that should cut off some. You know, a bit of flight time. And. Because, you know, what I could tell it almost should to look like a full kind of fly around. And we don't want to do that. At cloud level, so I think we'll be flying through a couple of clouds. Actually, did I test that before? Yeah, I did, and I actually used that when I wasn't recording in uh, Frankfurt. Set ILS on. So I'll see if we can do you know, an autoland. Then we'll probably do an autoland approach, because they, that kind of gets you around with the runway pretty well. I still have not figured out what those little things are. If anybody knows, could you please tell me? Could you please enlighten me? Because I can't time accelerate because this aircraft does not handle time acceleration well. Barrow reference set and cross checked. One, zero, two, zero, one, okay. zero, two, zero. Okay. See, button no smoking sign on. 
Then we go like that and get aligned and then put it down gently. Let's see if it can on the sim rate of 2. Okay, simulation rate of 2 is fine. Simulation rate of 4 is also fine. Yeah, I believe this might be the city of Charlotte. Or maybe that's Charlotte over there. Yeah, that airport has a really long runway. And then a really short runway. Kind of intersecting that. Yep. Let's see if we can just... Wait, hold on. Okay. Keep an eye on this. Alright, lose the speed. Let's go back to 240 now. And then, once we hit. How long was it? Once we hit 10,000, we slow down further and start extending the flaps and. You know, gradually slow down. That seems a bit unstable at the moment. I think I'll give it a bit of a give it a bit of a hand to slow down. So what is with these people? Come on, you got windows here, and it's cloudy, and the sun's not shining in your face. Open the bloody blinds. I I the reason I stated a. One two three zero so two two zero. So we're about to pass ten thousand. So gradually slow we're gradually, you know, losing our speed. Passing ten thousand feet. Lights on. And, you know, I'm also gradually reducing on. the rate of the scent. Those things are idling, so. Yeah, and I can't deploy the flaps until we go below that speed. I mean, this thing does have a faster approach speed than my than you know the A318 for example and the A320 even because it's a larger aircraft and it's longer. This is why we almost tail striked at LaGuardia. What um I'm not sure what that was. What, what? Speed brake still out. Speed brake is no longer out. Okay, flaps one. And then the next milestone is going to be 8,000 feet, at which we're going to go below 215. No, the next is 200, so we'll go to. Uh, and the next is just go straight to 2, so. Yeah, we're about to reach 8,000, so we're going to go to 190. You can see the aircraft kind of trimming a bit strangely, but hopefully that shouldn't be a problem. And you can see the slats are deployed, which are all flaps 1 is. Right. What is so difficult about slowing down to that speed? Yep, I have to use the spoiler. As you see, if I do. Does this actually work legitimately? Yeah, this seems to actually work properly. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. So we're still out, I know. Well, let's see, we're about to go below 200 knots. Or what is the. Yeah, 200 knots. And now. Is this different or something? Sorry, I'm confused. I'm genuinely confused. Next is going to be 6,000 where we drop below. We're going to slow down to 180. And after full flaps, once we level off 2,000, we drop the gear.
I can see a lot of these tiny little airstrips here. Does everybody, does, you know, is there like an airstrip in America within two, you know, every two kilometers? So if you're in a general aviation aircraft and you're at a decent altitude, you're most likely going to be able to get quite close to an airfield. Do I have the flap set too? Yeah, the Nexus is full, so I think I'll just slow down to 170 and, you know, get it over with. You know, it's going to take a while to fully slow down to that speed. I like the American Airlines livery, though, I will say that. Or it, it, oh, come on, don't crash. Okay, phew. Full flaps. Uh, flaps are indeed set to full. I'm making sure of that. Yep, flaps are indeed full. Next is going to be once we reach 4,000 feet, we're going to lower the gear. Just as we level off, we're going to be able to. We're going to decelerate to our. Uh, what is it called? We're going to decelerate our approach speed and then have the is V meant to kind of is that velocity that last meant to be maybe I'm not you know I'm no expert is the auto throttle still on I yeah it is now <laughs> it's a quick you know quickly cycle the system just to make sure It is very quiet though. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, one zero two one. It is interesting to see like see these clouds come up to you and then just suddenly literally disappear. That's not what it looks like in real life, trust me. Maybe it does from the cockpit, but definitely not from the passenger side. Is that is that thing actually going? Yeah, we've been flying for an hour and ten minutes. <laughs> we actually have a setting for that show when we can extend the gear. I guess I can wait another minute or so to extend the gear because that's when we reach the altitude that I have set. I can see. Yeah, North, Cal North Cal Carolina. That's the word. Now zoom into 40 miles. Or nautical miles. I think we can go direct to. How do you pronounce that? Direct? Was that actually. Yep. Direct to insert. Once again, just to save a tiny bit of time. Sometimes, you know, tiny bits are can make a quite a big difference. If you departed early, if you departed late, and like, why are we getting strict for that radio tower? I mean, I, I'm not sure how tall that is, but it looks quite tall, especially for heading straight towards it. Okay, we're almost at 4,000, so that's close enough. We are going to extend the gear. Gear lowering. Bonding lights are on, as you can see. A bit of turbulence there. Gear down. Those things are closing. Things are getting quite interesting here. I'm still quite concerned about that timer, but I think we should either be above it or to, its, to the right of it. So that, oh, whoa, that's a quite Irish pull up there. Especially with another uh, 1,700 feet to go. How far are we, are we from the airport? Is, is that the airport there? No, that can't be the airport. I want to say, what is our distance? Yeah, you see. 
It gets completely lost. It's track of time. There's only 26 nautical miles out, so we should. Yeah, start the thing. Approach checklist. Ecom status. Checked. Sliding tables. Stowed. Stowed. Cabin signs. Checked. Nav currency. Checked. Barrow reference. Barrow reference set and cross checked. One zero two zero. One zero two zero. Check. Check here down. That's probably what I messed up there. What's your target speed? One for it. What's the flaps of Oh, God, it's one for... I know, that's VLS. VAPP is 151. Yeah, flaps full. Landing checklist. There you go. Landing gear. Down and locked. Oh, Three greens. Ground spoilers. Checked and armed. Auto brakes. Medium. Exterior lights. On. Go around altitude. Set. Landing memo. Checked no blue. Checklist complete. Well, we can actually zoom in further to just 20 nautical miles. There we go, we're leveled out. Now we just turn to the left a bit later. Could that actually be the airport? Maybe. Oh, there's a lake here. Hold on. Yeah, that thing is easily at the altitude of the aircraft. In fact, it's at a higher altitude than the aircraft. Are, are we level? What the hell, mate? 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. I want the altitude hold here to be important. I'm saying no, altitude is going to be 2,000, mate. I don't know what you're trying to do, but I think you shouldn't be doing it. You need to climb back up to that altitude. It's a, it's a s why not? Seriously, what, why is it descending of all things? Speed? Yeah, we're at a careful balance here to not... When we're trying to not stall the aircraft. Could that be part of the... Airport complex, maybe. Three five ends. Tower. KCLT. Well, nothing is loaded in at the airport yet. I would almost go direct to KCLT, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, come on. I need to climb. You idiot. What's going on here? It's leveling up because we're approaching 2000. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. Not keep ascending or descending. Neither one of those. The nose is rising up quite aggressively. Okay, that should definitely be an interesting landing. I mean, shouldn't these things at least have some form of uh, tail strike protection? I mean, this aft does look like it's. like it could be prone to. I mean, if you just follow that, you'll see that's. I mean, just to maintain altitude, it's quite close to what would be the. Damn, that's, that was a big. That was a big bolt of lightning there. A thunderstorms this localized in the U.S. Hopefully, they won't cause us problems. Hopefully, they won't, you know, disturb any of the instruments. Yeah, when I used to see. Yeah, there's... I think that might have been some over there. No, that's just a texture glitch. Yeah, I used to think lightning was texture glitches, or lighting glitches, because, you know, suddenly the underside of the aircraft would light up. So far, I've only seen a... 
lightning on you know, one time on an aircraft. That was when I was approaching there. I believe it was Malaga. I'm going to turn left. Okay. Okay, we are going to zoom into 10 nautical miles. So it's 5 nautical miles out from our target. It's going to flight plan here. So 18 center. So that's left. Of, I'm presuming that's going to be 18 center. Listen, that guy could potentially be a problem on Airbus, because remember, I'm not talking to ATC. Because that adds a whole new, that adds a whole host of complications. That guy's climbing us, so the Beechcraft shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, so that's 18 left. And therefore, logic says that's 18 center. But then, where's 18 right? This is where is 18 right? Hmm. Well, as long as you know the the uh, ILS is set, we shouldn't have a problem. Now we are shortly going to turn left. You see, shortly we'll turn left. Just like I said. Yeah, we're definitely turning to get a line for that one way. Yeah. Quite a harsh turn here. Keeping close side on that A3 on that other A3 A321. That's 4.1 nautical miles behind us. Which in aviation standards is not much. Right, once localize, once we get, you know, the localizer captured, then I'm going to turn on the approach hold, because that will just get us, you know, nicely aligned, a lot better aligned than I could ever do. We're still too low, so that's what those uh, puppies are showing there. Oh, come on, it changed again. 146. I think as we burn fuel, it becomes different. I don't think two knots would make that much of a difference. But yeah, sure, why not? Well, it would make a difference to some airports, but I don't really believe Charlotte would be one of those airports. Yep, there it is. Traffic, traffic. Oh, boy. Oh, that's not good. There's the traffic warning going off. Oh yeah, he's 2.9 miles out. There now. Let's watch as the aircraft s starts to dip the nose. There you go. Like I predicted, to to get itself up on the proper approach. The landing will be performed manually, so I will put the aircraft down myself. One thousand. Second autopilot is on. I did that because Igor told me that's realism. Right, the TCAS has shut up because it seems the A321 is. Well, we are a bit too high there. Yeah, just right. That was a fun fact, this was the actual route for a US Airways flight 1549. Okay, we're... Speed. Speed. Lightning. Also delayed reaction. Alright, get ready for a AP disconnect. 400. Three hundred above. 
Actually, I'm going, to, I'm going to trust this to land itself. It might be a bad idea, but I mean... Continue. Right, so we're at minimums. Too high. Way too high. Autopilot off. 100. Autopilot off. 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. Retard. Retard. Oh god, did we bounce? We bounced. We bounced badly. Five. Well, we're down now. I think the passengers definitely felt that. But that... We definitely bounced. I'm 100% sure that we bounced. Five up, and we'll turn... We'll turn off here and then head to the... Head to the terminal. We want to clear the runway because you know, we've got another A321 breathing down our neck. I think we clear the runway just in time, otherwise we might have had a collision on the runway. <sighs> what? Oh, that's the APU turning on. That means we switch into this. Exterior lights? Checked. Ground spoilers? Oh yeah, that was Checked another bit of light in there. Mode selector. Checked normal. Flaps? Checked retracted. TCAS? Checked standby. Brake temperature? Yeah, you Checked. Can see the A3. APU? On. Checklist complete. Now he's just pack this part down and that would be the end of this flight. I don't know why I bother changing the QH. Let's pack at the nearest gate. And that Orbit Airlines A321 is down, down, followed by lightning. And I'm just going to go direct to the gate. You know, no fancy taxiways for me. No, no sorry. Yeah, he says he just closed the reverse, I think. Yep, park here. So no, I'm apparently turning full left. So we need, we need to give it the little kick. The engines are actually idling. Move forwards a bit. Let's build up the interest of full power. There you go. Engines one and two off. Engine one, engine two. Going for empty. And the parking checklist. checklist. Timed that perfectly. Yeah, let's watch that. Parking brake. It works. That that just shocks Parking me. Parking brakes released. Engine master. Both off. Seatbelt signs. Off. Set off. Beacon lights. I think it's still turning. Set off. Anti ice. Set off. Fuel pumps. Oh, you can't actually put this into the Set device. off. Checklist complete. Well, you could, but then it will just immediately pop back. So hey guys, that was a flight from LaGuardia to Charlotte with an A321. I'm Bosch 25. Goodbye.